Hey you lot, so today I am doing my May, May, drugstore monthly favourites month must-haves drugstore makeup. Hmm. I can never remember what the actual title of this thing is because there's too much alliteration involved. This month it's a mega mixed bag, skincare, nails, makeup, uh, some other stuff. We'll find out. Um, I'm a big fan of Rimmel products as a whole. I love their Wake Me Up foundation and concealer. I love their lipsticks. I love the Kate Moss lipsticks in particular. I just think loads of their products are on point. So I was super excited about the collection they were bringing out with Rita Ora and I was definitely not disappointed. There's a whole range of, I think they do like the chubby stick sort of lip crayons and then a whole range of nail polishes. Not only are they super girly gorgeous and spring perfect colours but they all have really like cute cheeky names. So this one is a classic nude shade called Let's Get Nude. A really pretty pale blue called Pillow Talk. A slightly shimmery pale pink called Lose Your Lingerie. Hey! And a bright white with a very subtle shimmer running through it called White Hot Love. Oh yeah! And they're only, I think in boots they're about £3.69 I think I read. Um, which is really good value, it's only slightly more than the Barry M polishes which are like the bargain of the century. They also have really cute packaging, like all the Rita Ora stuff has got this sort of like pop art inspired design. Sticking to great products from Rimmel, this isn't a brand new one but I've been loving it this month, it is their Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara, which apparently has Grow Lash Complex and Fibres. Your guess is as good as mine. Thanks to the super duper skinny little wand, um, I would say this one is a great one for length. If you're a fan of, like I hate the term like spidery lashes because that's not what I mean, but you know when lashes are not necessarily thick but are just super duper long. Uh, if you're a fan of the really sort of fluttery look, um, this is probably gonna be a great one for you. One thing I did find was that it sort of weighed my lashes down a little bit, maybe because the formula's so thick or something. So you don't quite get the curl and sort of oomph that you get with other sort of more volumizing mascaras. But if you're into the flirty, fluttery lashes um, sort of vibe, then definitely give this a go. I was really impressed. Going a little bit more high-end with this one, um, it's a product from Bare Minerals, Prime Time BB Primer Cream, um, which comes in this little squirty bottle. I really like the idea of this. It's just, it's a very sort of watery consistency, sort of BB cream rather than the normal um, ones that feel a bit like moisturiser. So you can either wear this alone for a really sheer coverage or underneath your foundation for a bit of extra flawlessness. So I was really looking forward to trying this but I am somewhat baffled by this packaging <laughs> because I really like the idea of it being in a squirty bottle. I was like, oh that's so handy, this is going to be great. Ready to pump out a bit? This is the worst bottle ever. My room is covered in this stuff. It looks like I've sneezed everywhere, which I haven't. I'm gonna try and see. But the stuff itself is really nice. Like you can feel that it's gonna be really nice, but I haven't dared to put this anywhere near my face because I just know I'm gonna get it in my eye and blind myself. It feels like it would be a really nice lightweight coverage for summer. Um, even on the back of my hand I can tell that it's gonna be a nice product, but I just need to overcome this bottle first. So I will try and get the hang of it and let you know how I get on. <laughs> if you are a girl or a guy uh, who suffers with breakouts and acne and um, like the occasional spot every now and again, um, you might be a bit like wary of foundations and feel like they might sort of get in the way of your skin breathing and doing its own thing and just causing extra problems for your skin. Um, so this next product might be something that might interest you. It is Miss Sporty's So Clear Anti-Spot Foundation. It is a foundation which claims to fight spots and imperfections um, and prevent new ones from appearing while you're wearing it, which is a really cool idea. It's going to give you a matte finish, which is great because quite often um, acne prone skin is quite oily, so it's going to help you combat any shine. And then obviously it's going to do what any other foundation claims to do, it's going to like blur out your imperfections, even out your skin tone, that kind of thing. I really like the idea of this, I love that it's fragrance free and dermalogist tested, but I will say that I have got the shade 002, which is medium, and it is quite dark so I would say maybe don't get this one online maybe go and give it a test in a shop um, try it on your jawline um, blend it in and then go outside into the natural light and look in a mirror outside one of Rimmel's sort of most cult products is their sun shimmer instant tan which looks like 
this. This is a bit of a favourite amongst beauty bloggers um, and it's great if you like to get a bit of colour on your skin for the summer but you're a bit rubbish at actual fake tan. This stuff is perfect if you're popping out somewhere, you fancy wearing a pair of shorts but you don't really want to wear tights and you also didn't bother to do proper fake tan the night before because you literally just slap this on, rub it in and it's instant colour on your skin. Even for pale girls out there who don't want to end up looking like a what's it, um, you can get this in the light shade which is the one I have here um, which also has a little bit of added shimmer so it's not too intense and dark on your skin. Top tip though, it is important to remember to wash the palms of your hands <laughs> after you apply this stuff or use a mitt like a normal person uh, otherwise you will end up with very intensely tanned hands which is not always the best of looks. <laughs> Something that you might quite fancy giving a try is hair chalk. Um, I've got one here from Stargazer which is in a super intense shade of pink. Hair chalks are perfect if you fancy putting in a little bit of awesome bright colour but you don't fancy committing to bleaching your hair and then putting colour on top of it. They're designed to give you a bit of a temporary pop of colour um, that will last a day, a wash, a couple of washes, not very long at all, um, but long enough so that you can mix and match whenever you fancy. These come in pretty much every neon shade that you could think of and they're priced at only £4 each, so you could pick up a couple and go proper mermaid hair, um, which is always going to look awesome, or you could just stick to one and just do sort of a bit of a dip dye sort of thing. Uh, either way they're going to look awesome, paired with a bit of face paint and a pair of wellies. Um, that's what festivals are all about. This month Sugarscape sent me the Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing 2-in-1 Wash and Mask, which is a big ass tube that looks like this. I've never really tried any Clean and Clear products before because they tend to be targeted towards um, problem skin, whereas my skin just tends to be quite dry. And when it comes to sort of fighting acne and things like that, the products can tend to be quite drying to deal with oil. Primarily it is a wash that you can use either in the morning or the evening. Um, all you have to do is wet your face and sort of lather it up and massage it into your skin to give it a really good cleanse, rather than just sort of smearing makeup all over your face with a makeup wipe and not really taking any of it off. You should be using a proper cleanser with a wet flannel because that's going to really sort of get rid of all the grossness on your face from that day. And then once you've washed it off thoroughly as a wash, um, I really like the idea that then you can use this as a T-zone mask. You can apply sort of an even layer to your wet face, um, just sort of across here, where most people tend to get most of their oil build up, and it's going to really sort out any excess oil, um, give your blackheads a bit of a kick up the bum, and just sort of give your skin an extra sort of pamper. But if you do fancy sprucing up your skincare routine a little bit, but still can't be bothered to deal with all the double cleanse, tone, blah blah blah, um, then this could be a good place to start. I hope you guys have had an awesome month through May. I hope all the exams are going well. You're probably all well stuck into revision at the moment. If you found this video on my channel, don't forget to head over to Sugarscape, check out all the awesome stuff we do over there. Um, if you're into boy bands, if you relate to this t-shirt, Sugarscape understands. And I think that's everything I have to say. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!